Hello and welcome back to episode 21 of Oxygen Not Included, modded-ish series. Uh, so where we left off, we was working on the space suits. Uh, of course, they're done, but we need oxygen in them now. The oxygen is making its way up there, but it is slow. Because it is siphoning off oxygen. We're from. From here. Now what I'm actually going to do is disable this vent. Because if we disable this vent, that will stop that coming out of there. And of course, then it will go straight up like that. And they will fill up a lot quicker. They do actually hold quite a good amount of oxygen. So that should be okay. Uh, let's have a look at the outside now. So we know that we had a problem with the natural gas. It seems to have cleared up. As in the, the vent's not doing anything. Uh, this is now a vacuum, as I s originally said, so there is nothing in here now, and this pump obviously can't action because there is no gas. But as soon as this gas guys uh, goes off again, that will immediately pump and give us the natural gas. Problem with that is that we don't actually have any, so we're relying on coal again, which is this temporary setup just here. Uh, I'm going to put in a airlock just there. No, I can't. I already discussed this. We can't do that. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, what I'd like to do is try and... Although we're very close now and we have the capability to get to the surface, we've got the spacesuits, we've got the ladders up to the surface, there is the vacuum of space on the top of the asteroid, but we haven't popped the cherry yet, so to speak. So, I'm actually going to cancel all of that. Because we need to get over into this asteroid and find, hopefully, at least a couple more of these. There's one here, for example. So there is a geyser just here. So with that knowledge, we will immediately... What's the temperature like? It's doable for now. It's doable for now, though there's a bit of a weird splodge there. So let's say, uh, take this out. Put a ladder in across here and dig that and then dig that maybe too. Prioritize that pretty high. Try and not get the... Oh, it, it got it anyway. It doesn't matter. So now somebody should come along and quickly do that. We'll establish what type of geyser this is and then I hope we can just immediately encase it. Uh, what have we got? A hot polluted oxygen vent. When you say hot, you mean wow. 500 degrees. That's reasonably warm. Um, okay, so we'll cap that off like so. And what we want to do is put this on the highest priority and then do a dig on a nine. And hopefully these guys are going to come along, dig this out, get that in case. But we need to find more. So let's have a look. This is another one, but I'm not going anywhere near that because that is clearly a volcano. Um, so we're not going near a volcano. There is another volcano there. What temperature is that doing? 1700 degrees. That also sounds like a problem to me. There is another one here. So let's get a ladder out there. We'll deconstruct these bits that we don't need. Uh, and then dig a door there. I don't even know why I did that. We don't need a ladder there. We just need a ladder at that bit. And then, of course, we just need to cancel that. So they should be able to get across there as well. Uh, we'll do that. They're going to work on this first, which they're almost done. I really want to get this closed off. It's strange, actually, that... Is this polluted? Oh, it's polluted oxygen. So this is, yeah, 500 degrees gas. We don't want that, right? No, I don't think we do. I'm going to look to go with steam. There's no point in me having them set because they're not going to be able to be done. And then, of course, the mechanical door. Can we get a normal mechanic? Actually, no, just, just cap it off permanently, like so. 
Okay. We've also started to dig this one out. So if we go dig on a nine and we can just take into here. This will show us what kind of guys that this is as well. I'm seeing them by the neutronium bases. These are indestructible. You can also see them if you look on the... Um, on the temperature gauge, you can see that the, the, they're always blue because they're always no temperature. Um, they're not too difficult to find, but yeah. So what have we got? We've got another volcano, and this volcano is also 1,700 degrees. That's pretty warm, I would say. Anyway, so let's. Do that and dig emergency all of that and finally that there hopefully it doesn't erupt while they're in there because that wouldn't end well for any of us well for them I'll, I'll be fine so they can quickly get this built and likely they're not going to get them two corners so uh, all that corner so I'll turn that off I'm not sure how that works or doesn't work we'll find out when we've done it and then we just need to no, he's really not that smart. And put that there, so that'll do that one as well. So we've got one, two volcanoes capped. We've got a 500 degree polluted oxygen also capped. There is another one here. But this whole area is a bit awkward to go into. Uh, so I am actually going to Yeah, now that's capped off. I'm going to put this wall back in It doesn't need to be on an alert I put that wall back in and then we're gonna actually go in from here So we're gonna come in actually much higher come in from here and work our way down That way they can we can have what looks like four duplicates uh, in full Atmo suits and then the gases don't matter four duplicates out of the 14 doing the work isn't great but it's certainly better than nothing so if we imagine that they're going to come out of here I'd like to try and just do a serious sort of yeah like in line with this how far down do I want to go sort of level here to get this as well so something like that and then of course something like that and then something like that we're we're still way off okay the serious amount of digging gonna be needed here because this is where we're starting and what's the temperature like there so that's also pretty cold but in the Atmos suits, it shouldn't be a problem, so we'll just continue to do that. And then, on an 8 only, I want them to dig all of this. At the minute, they can't reach it because the door is blocked, which is by design. Uh, I don't want them to go... I can't remember what that one is. So then we'll go across... And I want to try and get level to this here. But of course, all of this needs to come out as well. Because it's bleach stone. So we'll put a ladder in there. And then we'll dig out all of this. And just kind of follow these paths of where we've put the scaffolding or the ladders. Take your pick. And we'll see how that goes. If we open the doors now, they should have the ability to get into there. I... No, I don't need to lock it off because it's, it's locked off to the base anyway. None of this is going to connect to our base currently. So that means that the rest of the... It's a bit worrying that these are running out. I'm going to bump these to a nine all of them just to make sure we don't run out of power and then while we're working on this section here the rest of them that are within the base can actually try and clear it up a little bit 
There's a bit of a strange airlock here. There's a lot of liquid here. What temperature is this liquid at? It's kind of cold, but I'm not sure what it's doing, if I'm honest. We've nearly finished up here, which is good. There's just this one piece of iron ore there. A bit of iron and a bit of uh, what looks like copper. Oh, no, that's iron. Yeah. And ice. And that's all getting dropped in there still. And the temperature-wise in here should be... Yeah, it's very negative. So, let... Let's clear this up. So, get a couple of liquid pumps. One there. Two. And then we'll go insulated pipe. Just to try and stop it from transferring too much. Oops. Up to there. We can deconstruct these pipes for now. Because we don't actually have a plan for the actual liquids yet because I don't really I don't think we've got enough to be honest uh, and then we can bring this one up here this one up here and just do something like that and then again this would just drop a liquid there and then we need to power all of this of course now what powers on this line here 200 right that's fine that's more than easy cover that I'm not too bothered about this white is the brine the yellow is the polluted water and the blue is the water water now the, the normal water is more likely to freeze into ice but that's should happen in there um, which is which is fine so where are we at now yeah we just need to connect these so connect these two up oh, and prioritize the, oh it's already prioritized pretty much so they're going to crack on with that. This door needs to allow them to get in there. To complete all of this. That's it. It's obviously very cold in there. And what have we got in here? Ice, snow, polluted ice. Okay. But if we do that, it drops it on the floor. And then I'll just turn on liquefactables again. And all this means is that now that's empty. These are all waiting here. If and when they melt, they'll just drop into there. If they don't melt, they'll keep the room cool. So, as you can see, that's now being pumped up. All this liquid is coming straight into here. It's no cooler or warmer, so it shouldn't make too much difference. But it was certainly... It's better it being in there than, of course, in here. How are the farms doing? We've still got an issue with temperature here. Um, I'm not too worried because we, the, the food-wise, we're not we're not going to struggle with food anyway. So I'll leave it alone for now. We need research. We are stuck on the yellow research, which means this needs to be set to 20. Uh, or does it? I don't know. It says five rad bolts, so we need 20. So does we only need to do four? I'm not sure. I haven't used it in a while, but we'll see. So that's awaiting rad bolts. This should create that with the uranium. I'm sure, pretty sure we've got a good amount of that. It's in here. We've got two tons of uranium and a ton of lead. So at some point the researcher should come here and sort that. Let's just check that. Right, do we actually have any progress made here? Are we not... This is open. These are active. But they need to be trained to use the suits, right? I'm pretty sure that is the case. So down here. Uh, where is it? Exosuit tra exo training. Suit 
Right, slows exit suit durability damage. Pilot in, and then this one. So do they suit wearing? I think they do have to have that. So construction and diggers. Suit wearing one. Another suit wearer. Just the bare minimum. Uh, this is a digger, which could do his suit wearing, so that's three. And then we need another digger or builder. This here. Like so. That should mean that that's four people now trained to use a spacesuit. So hopefully... There's no reason why somebody can't get here now. It says unreachable dig. Why? Oh. That's... Yeah, okay. There we go. Try again. That should work. I think. Let them do the thing. We have got some coming up. Does that mean they're going to be putting on the spacesuits? Yep. There they go. Annoyingly, though, they... Uh, Come straight back and waste all the time in the world. So the question is why they're not prioritizing this. Current errand has Sam, okay. Here he goes. So there, you can then come down here all the way to this floor, which will allow you to walk along here. That's all available. This won't work though, so I'll put you in there. And you there and there, that should allow you to do all of that. You can then dig in here and do this, this, and then this is just a straight shaft really. I'll get a pipe in as soon as I can. should be okay. Right, so let's have a look. We've got this, but this is being taken out of here and moved into this. And obviously this area is a bit cold as well, but that's because of all of this uh, ice and stuff that we moved down on the uh, delivery to conveyor belt, this conveyor belt here, which actually we can delete now. What's over here? So, can I make... Because it's going to take a long time to get this sort of project worked out. This is too toxic for people to just be running through. So, And then move over with the base. So, I need a better solution for power. I could do one where you use the doors and pull out the heat from here. But it's a bit cheesy. I'd rather do it with one of these. What I don't understand is though, the polluted oxygen vent, oh no, sorry, I'm, I'm getting confused with liquid, it's not liquid, so that's fine. So it's one of these. So have I already unlocked the steam turbine? No, I haven't. So I need to do that. So there's two. There is two. I, I could use this one, but it's kind of. I'd, I'd rather use this one. It's a smaller one, but. We can build on top of it and get everything ready before we actually even start. So let's look at doing that. Again, I need to do the research for the steam. And they only do 
can't remember how big they are, to be honest. So let's sort of make it this sort of size in terms of scaffolding. And then, of course, down there and down to there. And then we'll dig all of this out like so. Okay, I guess that will work. I'll put one up here and here. I'm going to leave this cap for now. I don't know when and if this is going to go, but the heat that that creates shouldn't be a problem for me anyway because the, the, the actual scope of what we're trying to do... Oh, let me uh, make sure that works. So the actual scope of what we're trying to do is to use the heat from this to turn water into steam and then the steam uh, to power the generator. So... Before I obviously I'll get them digging that, but of course I I need to see the the full size of it. So did this rad bolt thing actually happen? Did we achieve absolutely anything at all? Apply science research zero out of twenty. So I'm going to turn that right up and turn that right up. Make sure whoever is the researcher. And then if we go to errands, it will show me. And that's operating. It's nearly becoming someone's task, but not quite. It's number two task, number three task. So, schedule... No, priorities operating here. So, nobody really... Actually... Any pink, and you're getting promoted for that. Any of you six, by the looks of it. There we go. Do that. It fires in there, fires in there, and that gives us, is it five? Uh, oh, no, it's apparently zero. What did I do wrong? Let's see it work. I definitely went in there. So, storing, yeah, it's doing something. I'm not entirely sure what, but it's doing something because it's now gone to two. So, maybe I'll just put this to 15. I don't know. Make it up as we go along with that, really. I haven't used that in a while. And then I know the next one's using them floppy disks that we do have a lot of, but they're stored somewhere, and I don't remember where I picked. Okay, so they're working down there, as you can see. But what I'm actually going to... Actually, I don't really want to store in four out of a hundred. Have we found any wheeze warts? Because I think... We... Sleet wheat, sleet wheat, no. All of this cold biome, and I can't see it. There's one. We need that. We need that ASAP. So. If I put you there and there, and then dig also to there. And then this wheeze war uproot as an emergency. And then we get the farm tile, I think it is. Farm tile, does it matter which? I'm not sure. But we'll go with this one. And then... What we can do is deconstruct this. We can cancel that research. Cancel all the research and look for the steam generator for starters. Steam turbine. Steam engine. Yeah, same difference. Oh, that needs it too. Great. Was that the one that was already working? It probably was. I already just turned it off to reset it. Never, never mind. Right, okay. So, yeah, we'll do that. And we have to make this room a little bit bigger because we're going to need to... I don't know where that's coming from, but... Clean up this mess. What's the temperature like here? We're fine. So in terms of radiation then, do we actually have the thing that 
Red bolt generator. Tracks radio. Yeah, that's the one we want. That's the one we want. But of course, we need a tile. I don't know if it matters. Can we make one out of lead? No. So... Does it matter? Temperature-wise, it's the cold that's the problem, not the... Not the actual um, heat, so... We'll get this Rad Bowl generator. I think I can put that... There. Like so. Deconstruct this. Obviously fill in... All the walls where we're at it. This, did we get the wheeze wart yet? We did, so plant that on a nine. Deconstruct this. Obviously there's a bit of power, that's a lot of power. 900 there, 1000 there. 10 watts? Seems a bit silly. But okay. We'll steal that one. So, there's a problem down here as well by the looks of it. What is it? Irrigation, so they're not getting any polluted water. That's fine. We must have seven or so hundred of them by now, so we'll get that broken as well. And then the idea is that this might need to be moved back. Uh, where would it fire? To there? I'm not sure. I'll wait. I'll wait. And that's how I can go there. And then if I just make everything in this room an emergency so that I am... Um... So I think that's there, isn't it? So it looks like this needs to go here and this one can be deconstructed. And the idea is then this will generate radiation. This will collect that radiation. That will fire it into this and fire it into this machine. I can put more than one of these down to increase it and make this work faster. But as a very start, I'm going to go with what we've got. There we go. So farm plot inoperable. Fertilization. It needs phosphorite. I don't know if we've got any phosphorite. Apparently we had some. Phosphorite. And then we need to wire it up. Like so. We can then drop this down to a nine and this down to a nine. That will fix them. So any second now we should see there we go. And this is now okay. This is then collecting the red bolts at 32 a cycle, so 32 a day. And then when it gets to 100, it will fire it into there and fire it into there, and we'll get her back up there. So we drastically need to increase this, but we need another weasel water to do so, and we don't really. So we'll have to make do for now with what we've got. But on that note... This has gone a little bit over, so I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments or ideas, please post them to me. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.